What's going on everybody? Dental Cast Productions, John Stamper here. I am so excited and as you know today, we have been spending time with a lot of the great speakers, a lot of the great companies here at the Hinman 2019 meeting live. And as you can see, we have a very, very special group with us and I'm really excited to have my co-host back. Lacey Phillips has been speaking all day. Lacey, how you doing? I'm good, I'm really good. I just came out of the ballroom. <laughs> well, there you go. She's <laughs> <laughs> Full of energy, right back on the camera. We love it. And, and, and in all seriousness, we have a very, very special group with us here, uh, the Oral Cancer Cause. And we have Robin Morrison and Linda Miles and Amber Young. And they are here doing something very, very special. So we really wanted to have them on to talk about this great organization that they have put together for a very, very special cause. So welcome, ladies. Thank, thank you. It's a very pleasure to have you. Thank you. I, 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 um, thank you, first of all, for waiting for me because they could have been interviewed at any time. And I said, please, please, please let me finish up today, get down here to introduce the godmother of consulting and speaking, Linda Miles. And uh, I love you dearly. I've, I've loved you forever, but it's so funny because as long as I've known you, you are going to retire. <laughs> and, and every year Linda says to a group of us that say, please don't retire because you still have amazing ideas. And she goes, no, I think I'm going to cut back. And then all of a sudden, her and Robin uh, come together and form oralcause.org and you have an amazing person to come with you now with Amber and the fact that we can do this live streaming from the Thomas P. Hinman Dental Meeting, have the three of you here with us tonight. Uh, something really special happened last night before we jump into your organization. You guys tell us a little bit about what happened last night, especially you. <laughs> Well, we were able to get a special introduction with Jim Kelly, who is an oral cancer survivor, and we were able to take our photographs and have a wonderful experience with him. And then during his presentation, he made a very nice remark about doing the good work that we're doing to increase these oral cancer screenings across the country, which is something that could be started and continue on through the Hinman Foundation and all the organizations out there. Absolutely. So that, that alone, yeah was super cool. And I just, I have to say, because we're live and it's fun, uh, Linda Mile never, she never walks through the front door. They snuck in <laughs> through the back door. <laughs> and uh, they got to meet Jim Kelly and take pictures with him. So that, that was actually a lot of fun because it was true Linda Miles fashion. Robin was standing in the background like, what do you think we should do? And Linda goes, we should walk in. <laughs> and uh, they just walked through the back door to meet Jim Kelly and it was amazing but I, we absolutely want to talk about your organization your cause blow a bubble um linda robin tell us more please go ahead linda thank you so much lacy first of all oralcancercause.org was started because my sister-in-law was with hospice with oral cancer in 2012 i met robin at a dental meeting and we knew each other but not really and we started talking about the brother mike who had just passed away and I said, you know, Robin, with our 80 plus years of dentistry and this young woman's marketing ability and her a marketing ability and her uh, energy, we can start something and give back to the profession of dentistry that's been so good to both of us in honor of Mike and Charlotte. So that's how OCC started. And I'm going to let Robin explain our mission and uh, our purpose. Sure, thanks Linda. So we are a nonprofit and we were founded in 2013 with the mission and the purpose of increasing awareness about oral cancer, the importance of early detection and treatment. Because if both of our loved ones had been diagnosed sooner and treated sooner, they may very well be here today. That is our passion and even if we save one life, that it's all worth it. So that's that's our main mission. As we raise funds, our funds go to create educational material and then to also help families that may have the breadwinner that has been diagnosed and gone through treatment with oral cancer and may not be able to work or maybe not even be able to return to work ever. So because of the support of so many of our colleagues that are here at this meeting, so many of the organizations, we are able to send checks to those families in need. So for that, we're so very grateful. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And Lacey, I have to tell you, 
We did have that prearranged with Jim Kelly. We didn't sneak in. Uh, <laughs> I think you had it prearranged to walk through the front door. Oh, yeah. oh well. <laughs> But they told us the wrong room. Oh, okay. And then we could there hear you guys okay. in the other room. Okay. So I, I just have to clear that up. Yes, we would not do that on purpose. <laughs> well, we might. I think, you know, one of the things Lisa and I talked about, we're so excited for, for all of you because, you know, we, for the Hitman meeting to allow us to do this, I think what, what we're really trying to share with people is that there are so many great messages that can be put out there about the great work that people are doing in dentistry. And to do this, and like you said, Robin, I mean, one message gets out there to one person and, you know. Swap mics. Swap mics. Okay. Swap mics. And one thing gets out there to one person. Obviously, they can make a difference. And, and we're so glad that we have this opportunity for you guys to, to do that and to talk Thank about you. that. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Thank you, Hanman. Yeah. And, I, you know, that one message that gets out there, I actually came into contact with the oral cancer cause through, after my diagnosis in 2015. I was all alone in the world with my cancer diagnosis. As diagnosed as the only person alive with that type, I went to GoFundMe on social media and Facebook to try to figure out what to do. And within the one day of my message being shared, I had a contact. They asked me if they could get my personal information. They thought they knew someone that could help me. And later that evening, I had my first phone conversation with the oral cancer cause. And ever since then, my life has been changed dramatically. The work that they put forth to help oral cancer survive survivors is far unsurpassed. Yep. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for changing people's lives like myself. Aww. So it's a gift to us. So take, the take the mic. <laughs> take the mic. <laughs> All right. No crying. There's no crying at the Hinman. No crying at the Hinman. Uh, no crying when we're live streaming. Yes. You guys have a booth. We do. You have a booth. You are here. Where are you? We are at 542, and we would love for all the dentists who are watching this, all the team members, to come by and blow a bubble for those who can't. We do have bubble gum, oh, yes. Yeah, we do. do we, yeah. Yes. So we did run out of bubble gum today, but we'll have more tomorrow. So come, oh, come blow a bubble. But we are having a blast doing the boomerang videos. The team members are loving it. They're sharing it on their Facebook. It's getting exposed to all their patients, so it's phenomenal. It's the bubblegum challenge, blow a bubble for those who can't. And we started this about three years ago just to create awareness, and we wanted something kind of light and fun to do with such a heavy subject. So it's really taken off. Practices are doing it in their offices the month of April. So you can still order your bubblegum boxes, so reach out to us. Excellent. Well, this is awesome. And I think in closing, really, you know, Lisa and I talk about this all the time. And, and you mentioned it with Linda that there are people in dentistry that do their everyday job, whether they're serving people in practices or like in, in these ladies' cases, there are other companies or whatever, but it's really inspiring, I think, when people go above and beyond to do something else, you know, for the industry and for people. And that's what we love doing and we we love talking about it. So thank you so much for Absolutely. For being thank here. you guys for being here. And and you know, this morning I actually talked about passion. I talked about creating leaders in the workplace, continuing that fire burning, and this is exactly what we were talking about this morning that one of the most exciting things I think about dentistry right now is that we truly have the opportunity to save lives. Yes. We do, to change lives and to save lives. And, and look at how many years of uh, dentistry we have up here. Uh, and we're still passionate. And there's something that everybody in the dental office, every single role that you play, you can find something to still be passionate about mm -hmm. after yep. all of this time. Absolutely. And I think this is an amazing cause. We would love for every single office that's here, come by and visit the booth, 50, 542. 542. 542. And um, meet Linda Miles, first of all. May I say one thing? In dentistry, if you love what you do, you never retire. You simply retread. Uh, I, I think that's That's wrap. how we're going to end it. That's yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not following that. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.